Alright folks, back with another YouTube video. It's been a while since I found one. Gonna try the Cascade Raider, as I know it anyway. And I will as usual put everything I use in the description box below. So this is a an old Patriot Sailor, one of the last I've got, so I guess after this I'll probably start using Patriots. But as usual, I'm using Unithread Black AO. If you pass through the wax and then start a bit from the eye and just wind downwards. Now I'm using black and yellow, eh, orange and yellow bucktail for the tail and I've already cut it and stacked it just to save a bit of time. So, whatever length you want, about there, I'll do me, pinch it in, a few turns, just to keep it sitting, as it is. And then, I'll add a few strands of crystal flash. Pinch them in. And then just tie it down and wind it up. Cut away the waste. As usual at an angle, just so it tapers down a bit nicer towards the head, and then what I'll do now is wind the thread back down, and then I'm going to add in a red tag using Glowbrite number 4 fluorescent floss I'm just going to cut a length of that and then just catch it in on the side a couple of turns and then just start winding the floss down towards the back of the fly And just back up and probably back down again just to make sure it's got a good bit of colour about it. And then tie that off. Keep the thread tight. Cut away, leaving a wee bit just to tie down. Make sure it's secure. After that, what I'm going to do is use a Mylar tinsel. So just catch that in, the full length of the, the body. And then also, what I'm going to use is wire for the body. In this instance, I'm using copper wire, but I think normally it's silver. So I've got copper to hand, so copper is in this instance. Just tie that down and wind it up. Make that wax. And then start bringing up the Crystal flash. No, sorry, the crystal mylar kind of tinsel. Bring it up to where you're happy with. And then just tie it off, keep the thread tight.
Put away the waste. And don't bring the wire up at this point because this wire's got a Palmer yellow hackle down the body and we'll use the wire to tie off the hackle. So here I've got a yellow cock hackle. I pulled it out earlier just to again save a bit of time so I didn't have to spend the time finding one. And this time I'm going to tie it in from the stem as opposed to the tip. So just catch it in on the side. Give it a few good turns to secure it. And then what I'm going to do is get away that waste piece there. What I'm going to do is use hackle pliers just because the hackle is quite short. Make sure the fibres are pointing the way you want them to point. And then just give it a, a turn at the top. And then just gradually put a few turns down towards the end of the myla tinsel. And then what you want to do is use the wire to tie off hackle just make sure you pull the wire tight and then just wind the wire up the body nice even turns give it a turn at the top and then just tie it off don't worry about that the hackle bars are just a wee bit loose but it's tied off now hold the thread tight bend the wire and just break it off now you could cut the tip of the hackle off in there, but it actually looks alright, so I'm just going to leave it. Just give it a few turns just to tidy it up. And then just put a wee... A few creases in the hackles just to make them sit slightly backwards. Now, what this fly calls for here is black squirrel tail. So I've already cut that and stacked it again just to try and save a bit of time. Just get maybe a wee bit much, so I'll just take some out of that. Make sure the thread's waxed and just catch it in on the top. Just a few turns to secure it down and then you can kind of move it about a wee bit. That looks good there. Come in, cut it off and then tighten the thread down on it. Run your thread back. Now if it's sitting a wee bit too upright, depending on how you like it, but if it's sitting a wee bit too upright, then all you need to do is just put a wee kink in the fibres and that will let it sit down nice. Now what you want to do is Add in the orange hackle. Again, I've taken one off. This is American saddle hackle, American cock saddle hackle. So this time, what I'll do is I'll tie it in at the tip on the side. Here, 
and then turn the tip back just give it a few turns on the way back find the tip and just break it away bring your thread slightly forward and then bringing the hackle up just Just kind of going the way you want it to go, and then just wind it on. I guess it depends in this instance how dense you want this cycle. But I would say we'll probably give it. Give it a decisions, decisions. We'll see what three looks like, and then yeah, that looks pretty good there. And then just keep the thread tight, tie the hackle off, cut away the waist. Tidy it up, and what I'll do here is again get the hackle sitting the way you want it, re kink in it, that's it, and now the final thing is a few two jungle cock eyes, so this jungle cock I've got is a bit worse for wear and definitely the best ones have been used from it, but it'll do it'll do for this fly, so on the top, on the top of the fly in this, this pattern, so catch it in on the top and just make sure it's sitting in the center before you cut off any of the stems give it a few turns and then what you need to do is just it's a bit footy but get the other jungle cock on the underside so just turn your base slightly and Just try and catch it in. Make sure it's sitting roughly in an alright position, which it is. And just cut away the stem. It's a bit too footy to fold back, so just make sure your thread's waxed and tight down tight just cut away a few fibres there and then just bring the thread up and down form, form the head Then when you're happy with it, what you want to do at that point is a wee bit of wax and get your whip finish tool. And just give it a few turns to whip finish. Keep it tight. Cut away the thread. And then just as usual using Loctite super glue, bit of product placement. Previous I was using full and mills, so cut away some of the fibres out the, the brush and just apply it on, trying to not get any on the hackles. And 
once that's dry I'll add a coat of varnish, clear varnish. Thanks very much for watching folks, this is the Cascade Raider. I appreciate it, all the best, tight lines, cheers.